All right, guys, so this is part two of the video. So if you haven't seen part one, make sure you go watch it because you'll, you'll need the information to finish these few problems here. All right, so last one we talked about was, again, power to a power. So what happens when you have an exponent getting kicked over up to another exponent? It's, it's basically just multiplication, right? Now, these are a little bit awkward when you have this number out in front of the coefficient. Again, it's not the base. This is n to the seventh power. The seven just belongs to the end. Um, again, think of there being a space here. But the 3 does have a 1, okay? So again, what happens when you have like 7 to the second power or 1 to the second power? What happens when you have an exponent being raised to another exponent? Well, we just multiply it. So the 1 here and the 2. So what's 1 times 2? That's just going to be 2. So this should say 3 to the second power. And again, I'm going to have to do that same thing with n and the 7 here, right? What do I do with the 7 and the 2? What's 7 times the 2? That's going to give us 14. And of course, ask yourself, is this as far as they want us to take it? Uh, you can actually do one more little thing here. What is 3 to the second power? That really just means 3 times 3, which is 9. So I do want to clean it up whenever I can, right? So that really should say 9n to the 14th power. All right, let's finish up these last two here, guys. Okay. So same thing, right? It's kind of weird. You have a fraction, but it works the same way. If you guys covered up this bottom section down here, you would only see r to the fourth to the third, so something like number one and number two. So what do you do with the four and the three? Well, what's four times three? That's just 12. So this is going to say r to the 12th uh, power, excuse me. And same thing on the bottom, right? What do you do with the five and the three? Well, it's going to be five times three, which is 15. So the bottom should turn into w to the 15th power. And again, R's and W's, not the same thing. I can't do anything with these guys. Different variables. All right. Now the last one here, again, let's just worry about the top part. Okay. This is saying 4 to the second power. If I just worried about that top piece right there, what is 4 to the second power? That just means 4 times 4 or just 16. Okay. So what do I do with the bottom piece, though? What do I do with 2? Let me erase that real quick. What do I do with this piece and this piece here? Okay, again, that's just like example or the first and the second example. Power to a power means I multiply the 2 times the 2, and I get 4. So this should say b to the 4th power, and that is it. All right, so guys, here is your class activity. You guys have 10 problems. Okay, so what I need you guys to do is do this on a separate piece of paper when you are done. My sub has the answers, so make sure you guys go up uh, to him or her and check your answers. If everything's perfect, um, turn it into the inbox, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, have a nice day.